You know, there was that thing about jazz that I talked about where I was able to see colors. Those beautiful, rich colors wafting in and out. And you know, you could, music flowed through my house like these chocolatey layers of, I don't know what you would call them, just billows of delicious, musical pieces of genius. That's the only way that I can describe it. And so then, by this time, music had really captured my heart. I had another visit with Granny. She started talking about how music had become a little something different. Post-depression era of music. I said, well, Granny, how was it? She said, well, people, we were praying like we are today for something new to come about, for a shift, for a change. And so, in my learning of jazz, I came upon this, the only other word I can give for Duke Ellington is that he was a genius, he was a musical genius, and staged the first totally African-American musical, so to speak, at Carnegie Hall, it was called Black, Brown, and Beige Suite. But the thing about Duke Ellington's songs was that they were like these prophetic intonations, these, these lyrics that spoke not only from the black experience, but spoke, but spoke to a people in general. So this next song I sing is like a prayer for all people. And it struck me because, well, I'll just sing it. Dear Lord of love, God Almighty, God above, please look down and see my peace. And flowers 
the day 